uh, the uh, we all know what is artificial intelligence right um, basically artificial intelligence is uh, that which is trying to replace the humans but i'm sure you know the uh, these intelligent machines cannot replace teachers they cannot replace they might be of great help to us they might collaborate we can do better work with the artificial machines but i don't think they can replace a teacher yesterday when we were having a talk uh, on this on the same platform yesterday i was just uh, telling the people out there a story a story of uh, basketball you know basketball when it originated people uh, used to throw ball in the basket and the basket don't have a hole at the bottom and people used to climb the ladder to remove the ball from the basket and then one uh, young gentleman said why don't why don't we put a hole at the bottom so and then automatically the ball started falling down and the people who opposed the most was the person who was using the ladder to remove uh, the ball from there because he lost his job he lost his job of climbing the ladder and getting the ball out so we don't embrace change we need to embrace change you know that is very very important you know we are ignorant we are living in an age of ignorance we are living in denial we panic we think we lose jobs ai is a very smart machine ai is making itself next slide please next slide so the impact of learning process when chat gpt came in you know like ai robots and chat gpt came in i was sent a request, i mean somebody sent it to me and i immediately typed ask something you want to i was amazed at the speed of the uh, you know uh, with what the information i received in this within seconds i got the information i said i want to write a poem on um, atmosphere and in no time we take years and years and years or months or hours whatever it might be to compile a letter to compile a poem and this chat gpt is they are i think a million times smarter than us no doubt they are smarter than us but at the same time you know they are spoiling the mindset they are making us lazy the day by day we are getting lazy because everything is being given to us we are being spoon fed so that is the reason i think when we go down to the next slides and all that i will talk on this next slide please impact on educators ai impact on educators i don't think anyone a teacher can never become absolute nobody can replace a teacher the warmth the teacher has the feelings the teacher shares the i mean if definitely a humanoid definitely a robot cannot come and hug the person cannot share the feelings which a teacher does when a student cries the teacher can cry with the student but i don't think these intelligent machines or these uh, humanoids can take the place of teachers they cannot they don't have feelings they might be very smart but they don't have so i think we teachers should not be scared that these machines are they will be of great help to us great help to us but they cannot replace us next slide next slide next yeah so uh, uh, advantages it's uh, come out uh, too early now uh, by the time you know it's um, there are some advantages and disadvantages also about um, ai and all so uh, people think you know chat gpt uh, and it is death of education no it isn't it makes our work easier uh, tell me so many of you are there on the platform tell me how many of you have not used the chat gpt even i do use it i do use it at times when i have no time but i definitely want to write on my own i usually allot my time from evening uh, night 11:30 pm to uh, morning 1:30 am is my time of writing but i do take the help of chat gpt when i am overworked it i mean it is amazing it's an amazing tool it is i mean uh, artificial intelligence machines they are machines which have chips inside them but we have 
we have hearts we have minds right these machines can never replace us they are they are just tools use it in the right perspective use it in the right way which we have to use um people think that education system will become redundant or they might be change don't you think you know we have become so lazy anything we give the teachers i have been in the teaching field for such a long time and i feel you know the moment we give an assignment to the students they immediately go to the chat gpt and then finish when i ask them to the, uh, present a vote of thanks immediately they go to the chat gpt and again they um, um, bring out i can easily make out that it is not been done by them it is the machine which has done them now the creativity is lost what are you doing what are we doing now according to unesco yesterday when we were having talk nice um unesco has uh, i think fixed up an age 13 years and above uh, for uh, use of art artificial intelligence machines and all that okay that's uh, that seems to be a very reasonable age but uh, as toddlers exposing them to high resolution high density machines and all that it is definitely not good for the eyes for the brains and all that all the time Uh, this uh, posture of the students or in fact the posture of the people who you, who are on the system who are using it all the time you know you can see the curvature the curvature you know the backbone it bends no, no longer you will find the people sitting upright they are slouching stooping down like this like this they become they are not upright this is the use Yeah, this is the after effects of the heavy usage of uh, these uh, smart machines, and um, and even you know you talk about coding, even the coding is being done by the artificial intelligence machines. Even the coding, you don't need to learn coding. You ask for coding, even that uh, coding is done done by the artificial machines, and uh, artificial machines are learning from us. you know the moment we type something they understand our brain what we are wanting they play according to our mind what we wanted they are giving us in fact you know they are learning from us it is not it is the other way we are the ones have created the, these smart machines these artificial machines have been created by us imagine the long back you know um, i remember the days uh, or in front of my house there were um i mean a teacher used to teach um the students you know a p p l e apple the rotary method if i'm not wrong you know we used to by heart the answers to write and then in case if we in between we forget one word the rest of the answer is lost so it has a, it has it this these artificial machines have taken over the rotary method we don't need to you know by heart anything it comes automatically but it has to be used in the right perspective and then even our thoughts are based on our language the thoughts as i told you i just told you the thoughts which are there in the mind it is read by these smart machines and immediately they answer they immediately answer they they know what we need and they give us the feedback also they give us very valuable feedback definitely they give us very valuable feedback and they are not biased these um, these smart machines are not biased unlike we teachers sometimes it so happens i think many of you must if they, if their students around watching this uh, 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 platform you know sometimes it does happen you know that we teachers are biased i think but uh, i stay away from this particular i i don't think i must have a have ever been biased but maybe i don't know it is all my students know whether i have been biased or not but these smart machines can never be biased they will just uh, give you the right feedback and um, apart from that you know ai is basically you can classify ai into three three aspects three aspects one is artificial narrow intelligence one is artificial general intelligence and one is artificial super intelligence the worst among that is the artificial uh, super intelligence which can mul multiply itself the machines are going to make machines so a day will come that our universe 
will be with these smart machines we humans i will become distinct that is the worst among these three which i told you ai and i artificial narrow intelligence and artificial general intelligence and artificial super, super intelligence the super intelligence is i mean not in the near future but maybe in another 20 30 years or 40 years we don't know what is going to uh, be there in the hold for us and uh, right now if you just go to any restaurant in japan you will find the robots the humanoids serving they are the waiters they are the waiters they are serving people you know with the food and all that whatever is being asked they serving even in hospitals many hospitals you know but uh, do you think these artificial uh, machines in a country like india is it affordable i'll give you a recent example of my own i had to undergo a laser surgery kidney stones laser surgery i was amazed i'm telling you the amount of money which i have got to uh, i invested in doing getting a laser surgery done almost 2.5 lakhs for the laser surgery just for 4 5 days in the hospital do you think these machines will reach the common people will it save the lives of the poor people it is only meant for the elite class the rich class it is not i i'm sure many people will benefit out of it you will learn out of it but when it comes to healthcare industry i don't think it is going to reach every section of the society in a country like india there there are millions of people who are below the poverty line so artificial machines the, in these intelligence machines are i feel basically for the elite class the people who can afford had i known that i am going to i will be charged 2.5 lakhs i would have taken some medicines and all that and not invested such a big amount huge amount of money 2.5 lakhs is a big amount isn't it so i'm just giving you a small example so this is what is hap- happening the surgery laser surgery and some robotic surgery all this do you think the um, poor class the lower poor they are just dying they just cannot go there so make use learn learn these learn from these artificial machines and i'm sure we are going to uh, i mean it is definitely going to help us but again as i told you only the elite class and the richer class uh, machines can never control us they can never control us as i told you in the beginning itself they have chips within them but we have got hearts and minds the alexa the beatrice the sophia and this uh, talking about all this you know what are these the humanoids you just ask them they keep on repeating the same question i just happen to um, when we are using the mobile phone also you know when we request something it comes back again sharing the we, we are never satisfied with these machines right so it has got lot of advantages and disadvantages you know like in the advantages when you go you know it is personalized personalized learning but you can learn any time 24 by 7 you can learn any time but a teacher uh, comes to you at a fixed time uh, 9 to 5 or 9 to 3 whatever the time is but this is personalized learning you can learn any time 24 by 7 and it can give you and you, it if it, it will tell you what are your strengths and weaknesses and then it can create an engaging and interactive learning experience that keeps students interested and motivated you know like um uh, according to consensus you know like uh, lsrw are listening speaking reading and writing skills when you go uh, to the what you say how many of you are good listeners you know like um, 45% of us are very good listeners when it comes to listening when it comes to speaking 30% of us are good speakers when it comes to reading 16% of us are good readers and when it comes to writing it is only 9% of us are good writers you just when we go through the question papers of our students you know there's nothing in the question papers believe me there's nothing in the question papers what they have written written in the question uh, answer script and how do we uh, give them marks so this is how it is going down 
the listening everybody want our good listeners how many of you must have read a book in the past one month i'm sure none of you even i haven't read book quite some time because of my busy schedule but i do keep on writing we don't when it comes to writing there is nothing so this is something and then um teachers might teachers do give you immediate feedback also but they have to write down and then give it but whereas these humanites immediately you know they will create a feedback for you and immediately within seconds you get the feedback you know where you need to improve and how you need to move go around and then um, it can um, cater to large uh, group uh, section of society across different geographical sections uh, you know now so many people must be there on the platform listening to me i except nice i don't know anybody here on this platform but we are you know this is the biggest um, advantage which we have you know after the pandemic that we are able to connect to people across the globe technology is advancing and uh, we are, we are very fortunate that the, uh, it has advanced to this level that we are interacting with people across the, with the highest intellectuals so that is the most positive plus point of this uh, technology okay and then it can reduce cost effectiveness uh, cost effectiveness i don't think it will reduce because these machines are quite expensive for us to procure one and keep it in the uh, schools and colleges and all that uh, imagine to get one smart board also it is so difficult for us to get one smart board also imagine getting a beatrice or an alexa in the college and replacing with the teacher and that kind of infrastructure should be there i'm sure india is advancing pro progressing like anything you know it's growing by leaps and bounds with the chandrayaan 3 and all that you know it is creating history so i am sure you know india is going to become one of the most powerful nations in the world and uh, when we next slide uh, nice let us go to the disadvantages of uh, uh disadvantages of uh, ai um it can uh, reinforce reproduce existing patterns of discrimination i just came across one particular picture you know and i was amazed looking at that picture such a beautiful lady properly defined lips and beautiful eyes and everything the hair the costume the jewelry and all that i was so, i fell in love with that lady and when i tried to find out who it was it was a humanoid imagine you know how beautiful it has i mean in the creation almighty's creation is being changed imagine you know that to create such beauty you need to invest lakhs and lakhs of rupees to create that particular particular beauty the makeup artist gets different the one who designs the lips gets different the the one who gives the hair style is different so this is one um uh, and then loss of essential human interaction yes this is one of the worst things you know i think this is the biggest disadvantage we don't have the personal touch here we i mean the students i have uh, uh, nurtured so many students here when i am working in isl engineering college also uh, here also there are so many students who come from below poverty line they do come to me with various problems and i feel so good you know going down to their level and trying to tell them uh, you know trying to explain them you know this is what i mean this was meant for you i mean you just need to pray that you're going to get out of it i encourage them i motivate them so this is all the these smart machines are not going to do they're not going to cry with you they're not going to hug you they're not going to do they're not going to have any feelings any emotions this this is the biggest disadvantage of uh, ai learning you know then uh, there are a lot of errors also and unpredicted uh errors you know there are a lot of errors with these machines and it can definitely affect the student learning and then we have got a uh, uh, limited creativity especially in subjects that require exploration yes when you go into the detail and all that you know uh, definitely this is not going to help us when you go to you can, you can just cannot ask you know ai simply say when i write the chat gpt i just ask the chat gpt can you just uh, draw a graph for me and um, let me know so it says sorry 
AI does not uh, help you, can help you out with this. It flatly refuses. So again, human intervention is very, very important here. So I don't think that uh, AI is um, uh, as creative as we are. As we are. <clears throat> and then a lot of privacy concerns are there. A lot of privacy concerns are there definitely, you know, like any other social media, the hacking and all that. Nowadays, everything is being hacked. In order to use banking services also, we get so scared, you know, who is going to hack our um, ID or our password. We never know. And uh, even the banks keep on stressing us to use the, uh, you know, the apps which the bank has given. But anytime it can be um, hacked and uh, the amount from our account can be lost. So these are some of the disadvantages and all that. But uh, believe me, uh, people here on this platform who are watching me, I'm sure no one can replace a teacher. A teacher can never become obsolete. Teacher is making teacher. AI will make AI. But AI can never, never replace uh, a teacher, whether it is Alexa, Alexa Beatrice, Sophia, or Naira, Ira, whoever it can be, whichever human I, but I don't think it can replace a teacher. And uh, this is all I had to say. I don't know whether I have uh, justified. I know AI is going to be a little dangerous, but uh, we are more dangerous, I think, more dangerous than um, these artificial machines. So I think I, I, I'm not very sure nicely whether I have justified because this is such a big, I mean, AI is a very big uh, platform. I mean, I must have touched upon only one hundredth part of it. So I'm, I, I don't know whether I have justified and I'm, I really thank all of you for the patient listening and all that. In case if you have questions and if I'm not able to, uh, answer to your question, my apologies in the very beginning uh, itself, you know, but I'll try my level best to answer to the questions in case if you have any. Thank you. Ma'am, we have one question here in the chat box. Why do you focus on what AI tools cannot do? They keep on developing their skills and are scheduled to replace many things teachers are doing today. So is there any meaning in saying that AI tools will not replace teachers? Teachers will have to redefine their roles and functions, not replicating what these tools can do to students. Is it not the right approach? It's uh, indeed a very, very good question. You know, uh, this is what I just told in the morning to one of my students, you know, uh, earlier, you know, they used to say Guru Dakshina. Nowadays, they are saying Google Dakshina, YouTube Dakshina, AI Dakshina. We need to redefine ourselves and we need to be smarter than our teachers, uh, our own students. We as teachers are not up to the level of the teachers. We definitely need to redefine ourselves, learn and present ourselves in such a way that students don't rely on these artificial machines or on the social media platforms. So we feel that we know everything. We know nothing. So we definitely need to redefine ourselves. We need to study. We need to work hard to keep the level of um, the artificial machines. So indeed, uh, you are right that teachers need to re redefine themselves in order to at least go parallel with the artificial machine because students don't want to uh, sit in a class where the teacher is so boring. They say we get everything. They, they know that they get everything on the YouTube. They know they get everything what on the chat GPT. If the teacher is interactive, if the teacher is lively, if the teacher makes the class uh, interesting, they, the students don't want to leave the campus. They don't want to leave the classroom. Otherwise, they start, they start paying the condonation fee and they're staying at home. Right. I hope I have answered your uh, query. Thank you, ma'am, for that. We have another question here. How can AI support lifelong learning and upskilling in the workforce? A, again, an another very good question. 
um, anything which is used in the right perspective will definitely help you reach greater heights, right? Um, you learn from the artificial machines. You learn from the chat GPT. It's not that you need to be, you cannot uh, disconnect yourself from the um, chat GPT and these technology. You need to upgrade yourself. Can you repeat the question again? I just lost, lost the track because I was getting a call there. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how can uh, AI support lifelong learning and upskilling in the workforce? See, uh, of course, uh, if you go to, as I told you in the beginning, early childhood education does not require these smart machines. But as you grow, in like people like me, I'm above 55 years. Sorry. I'm above 55 years. And at this age, I feel I should learn. I should learn from chat GPT, whatever information I get from there and share it with you all. But you students at a young age, I think you must um, try to do it on your own things. But then again, below the age of, I'm talking about the lower age group. I'm sure I have not answered this question in a very nice way, but whatever I could, I have done. But yes, it definitely helps to framing the uh, framing uh, the letters to the teachers, to the parents, or to anyone. It will definitely help you in the workforce. In case if the boss of your company wants you to write something, he has to present. Immediately you go to chat GPT and um, ask whatever he needs to write. You can just uh, take it from the chat GPT and present it before him. So this way, I think, I I'm sure I have not answered this question uh, very thoroughly, but okay. I, I am sorry about it. I'm sorry about uh, it. We have another question here. Why not leave to AI tools what they can do and prepare our students to collaborate with them and complement complement them in the workspaces to become more efficient and ef efficacious, which means we need to develop new set of thinking skills to the new generation learners, which are not within the reach of AI tools like analytical thinking. See, if you learn collaboratively with artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence and the teacher, the learner, together we can create history, we can create wonders. You need to collaborate with the AI tools, the chatbot, the robots and the chat GPT. You need to collaborate with that in order to progress in life. You need to, I mean, independently, if you are going to stay away from this, you are going to be a loser. You need to. They are... Uh, even a debate, simple debate topic. If I'm given a debate topic, immediately the students go. The ones who are using the chat GPT, they are far better than, than the ones who are writing on their own. So try to incorpor incorporate this, try, try to collaborate with these tools in order to progress. Uh, so ma'am, uh, does that mean that we have to train the students uh, to use the AI tools? Because uh, those yes. who do not know how to work with AI tools will not be, be welcome to the work workplaces of today and tomorrow. This can preserve them in their poverty. Hence, not training them in AI tools will amount to a crime against the poor students. Yes, you need to train them. I just, in the brief as I was telling you, um, it, uh, using the artificial intelligence, the machines, the humanoids, it is, it is for the rich, I told you just before that. But the, uh, uh, the below poverty line section of people can definitely learn AI. You know, they need to, we as teachers should help them how to use AI. Uh, the plagiarism, I won, the first time when I used the, uh, the chat GPT, I wanted to write a poem on a particular, because I'm used to writing poems. I must have written a hundred poems so far. I said, I just uh, put adventure or atmosphere, I don't remember. And one beautiful poem came. Immediately I copied that poem and I put it in plagiarism. Can you believe what did the plagiarism tool say? Zero percentage of plagiarism. Zero percentage of plagiarism. So I can publish my article. I can easily publish because the plagiarism level should be at least up to 20%. There was no plagiarism at all. Nobody can catch us. Now The I don't know whether the devices have come to check the plagiarism point. We must teach the students and how to, you know, um, don't exactly use whatever is given to you. Try to make changes in that. Try to go down to your own level of writing. 
you can make changes take the help definitely i do ask my students to take the help of uh, chat gpt they should not be away from these uh, intelligent tools uh, tools you know they have to we as teachers should guide them how to use they are not going to be dangerous they are going to be helpful but definitely not for the um, early education early childhood education i would definitely not recommend because it's too early for them but uh, yes of course for the higher classes as i belong to the higher education industry definitely i would teach my students ai tools how to use thank you ma'am for that we have one more question here how about the teachers who are a decade back not able to meet the present day requirements how they need to update it happened with me you know i am i am not very good at uh, you know uh, giving online lectures and all that because i am a people's person i uh, you know that very well nice right i like interacting with people i like to be with people and all that so many of uh, my students my colleagues and all that they have advised me to make uh, um, videos and post it on insta and here and there you know but i refrain from doing this because i feel that personal touch is lacking so that is the reason i don't can you um, go back to what you had asked me yes ma'am uh, how about the teachers who are a decade back not able to meet the present day requirements how they need to update they need to upgrade themselves definitely otherwise what is happening now if i am not upgrading myself a young girl like you for example if i am drawing 50000 a young girl like you will come and draw 80000 because you are doing faster than me you are doing smarter than me you are doing smarter work, smart work i am doing hard work you are doing smart work we need smart people smart work we don't need hard work gone are the days then uh, people you know we used to work very hard no we don't need hard work we need smart work so in order to um, be able to compete with the younger generation or with the uh, trending uh, changes in learning we need to definitely upgrade ourselves you know definitely you need to know how to go about this otherwise you know you'll still be lagging behind there are people i just happened to one of meet one uh, friend in chennai when i recently visited there she says i don't use uh, facebook i said why don't you use facebook because my husband does not permit me to use facebook it's like that you know so the reservations are there still that age old this thing is there we should not expose we should not come out uh, on the social media and those uh, restrictions are always there but if it is used in the right right perspective i don't think there is any harm thank you ma'am for that we have another question here what ethical considerations should be taken into account when integrating ai into education ethical it's very important ethics you know and that is uh, we are being taught ethics you need immediately you know the moment uh, nothing is been produced on your own everything ai is given and you go and just now uh, present it as though you have done it you are writing um, a book and everything is being done by um, the chat gpt or the ai and then the book is published under your name isn't it this is what is happening so where are the ethics how does your conscience say that you have written the book so the, those ethics should be there within us within us i don't think um, you know ai is going or there has to be a law or there has to be a, a machine which is far more intelligent wherein you know uh, it can help us you know to i mean get into the right framework the ethic ethical part you know to, which takes care of our ethical part so I, that should be there within us i feel you know um, that should be there within us our conscience should tell that what we are doing is wrong Oh, you can Thank say you, yes. Chat, chat GPT. Yeah. Yes, but we sense. don't say. Am I right or not? Uh, um, Nicey, you know, when something uh, uh, something very good has been written, and people say you have done it so beautifully, you have written it. So, will you come on the platform and say, no, I have not done this. This has been done by Chat GPT. No, you want to take the credit when the credit is has to go to the smart machine. We don't. so that should be there within you not everybody will um will be willing to do this right yes ma'am that's right 
Yeah. Uh, do we have any more questions? Can ask directly or post in the chat box. Ma'am, we have one more question here. What impact does the use of AI in education have on the development of critical thinking skills? Out of the box, critical thinking skills. You're not you're not using your brain. You're not using your mind, right? Something creative. I just happened to be lying on the bed yesterday. I was thinking because the chairman of our college here, you know, he keeps on saying because we are into the education industry and in higher education. He says, you know, about doing something innovative come out with a, a patent and which is later on converted into a product. I was thinking, you know, I've got gray hair here and here and all that. Why don't I come up with a, a comb, you know, wherein I just comb and my hair goes black or brown, whichever color I want to. You know, that is, uh, uh, can you go back to the question again? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, what impact does the use of AI in education have on the development of critical thinking skills? Oh yes, so when when it goes to the critical thinking, you know that was my critical thinking. That was my personal thinking, my personalized thinking. Why not we create a comb? But when you go to the chat box, it is just I again again I'll give you my very own example. I had to uh, you know like uh, uh, submit a proposal. Like I asked the AI tool there. Uh, suggest me an idea because I wanted to present an idea. So immediately an idea came, you know, like sorting out uh, uh, the the waste, uh, manage, how to manage the waste. So how we need the artificial intelligent machines and the computers and all that. So I presented that to somebody else in the innovation club. Then he said that at a large level, it is not going to be possible. Because the amount of uh, waste which come, come, comes out from uh, the households and all, it's tons and tons and tons. You need a lot of machines for that. So it should be done at the ground, at the base level, at the home level, at the level. So immediately at the level, home level, it should be done. What did the artificial machine told me? You can have this on a large scale. But when I went to the innovation head, he said, go to the ground level. See see the difference between the artificial, how the artificial machine guided me and how the innovation head guided me. So it is easier when it is done. The separation of the waste is done at home, right? So critical thinking, you know, uh, it has to be, I mean, uh, it should be from our side. It's, it's going, to, it will not uh, be helpful. These machines are not going to help us um, with critical thinking. We have to critically think about it. As I just told you about the comb, right? 